do not see yourself as a conscious being instead realize experientially you are consciousness itself peace to you and you and you and all my fellow expressions of consciousness what if I proved to you that Kim Kardashian is God. What a strange notion on first acknowledgement of what's put forward. Let's go deeper into this inspection. If I was to ask Kim, hey Kim, do you think she would be startled, I assume, and stop for a moment and say, of course I do. In that stopping, to then say, of course I do. Where was Kim in the stopping, in that so-called space? Where? The identity of Kim, where was she? Of course, nowhere until the thought came, shaped as a Kim thought, I said, of course, I, I think. So the thought came out of that space. Is that space always there or is the thought always there? The thought is known to something. All thoughts are known. That which thoughts are known to cannot be another thought. There's always only one thought at a time. Our thoughts are just objects to know. They don't know anything themselves. They're just tools for us to communicate as consciousness through bodies. So Kim is not actually thought. She's not who she thinks she is as nobody is. That which thought is known to is not a thought cannot be perceived itself because only thought aka mind can perceive and pick out objects mind creates objects actually through its limited perception because mind cannot see oneness which is what it arises out of but as a different form different perception of it so if Kim's thoughts are known to no thing if your thoughts are known to no thing, that no thing must be you. Can this no thing disappear? Have you experienced the lack of this no thing, which appearances appear to? Have you experienced, in other words, experienced, have you experienced the lack of being aware. Have you experienced the lack of consciousness? Another, another way to say it. Just remember now, if you say yes, that could not be true because you just confirm that you was aware of not being aware or aware of not being conscious. Do you see? Even in deep sleep, you are still aware, but you are aware of no thing because you are just as yourself, which is no thing. Only when mind comes as a apparent thing or arises within that which we are as an apparent thing, does anything exist for us to remember when we wake up. Prior to that, in that which we call deep sleep, you're just no thing. And as you wake up, don't you always say, 
or I had a good sleep or I felt good. You're not just talking about the dream, you're talking about that whole so-called time. Because you was still existing. And you was existing outside of time because only thought has time. So you may say you might you may say I had a good eight hours, a good nine hours, a good five hours, but that's irrelevant really. But the feeling the feeling you have is I had a good sleep or I did not have good sleep. You know that because you was there. In deep sleep, still conscious. So no one can say they've experienced the lack of consciousness because of course you'd have to experience it to know and confirm that there's a lack of consciousness. So if this no thing is no thing and cannot be and one has not experienced the lack of it then that makes it eternal, infinite. Oh no, no, it can't be infinite you may say if you're new to these non-dual teachings, Advaita Vedanta teachings, truth teachings. But you have to be sincere with yourself. If you have not experienced the lack of being aware, you cannot legitimately say, I am not infinite. <laughs> that should feel good. You can't legitimately say, I am not infinite. If you talk about, oh, 50 years ago I wasn't alive, that's a thought, that's an imagination. That thought is existing now. There is no past. So, all you do know is you always have existed as that no thing. As has Kim's essence, which is the same as your essence. You may or may not like that, but it's only thought that will not like something or like something but you are not the thought you're perceiving that which does not like the idea of having the same essential nature as Kim Kardashian so this no thing is infinite it's not affected by so-called things as it is no thing itself, so it cannot be touched. Thus it has no form, it's formless. Thus it cannot die, it cannot get sick. It is all knowing as all knowing arises out of it. Doesn't this sound like a concept we know called God? Did we not just go through this using evidence, personal evidence. If everyone does the same inquiry, will they not arise at the same understanding? Will someone come to an understanding that I know I'm not infinite because, insert the answer there, without using mind? without using past which doesn't exist there's only that which we call now all there is is God consciousness not God as a being don't think religion this is not religious at all or superstitious at all if anything this is scientific because you're using your own experience when we seek truth, we always forget the most important tool we have, ourselves. This is the primary from which we experience. Well, that is our notion, at least. So if that is your notion, why are you not experiencing this first? Understand what this is, the inside. Not necessarily pointing at the body, but that which you are. Experience that. When you know what you are, you will know everything. When you know what you are not, you will know everything. And not with mind.
you are as you can see with, with your own inquiry right now your own experience that which thoughts are known to thus you are not the thought you are not the personality that which thought is known to cannot be found it is no thing thus it is eternal it exists outside of time only mind knows time mind is known to that no thing you are that no thing eternal that is god names don't really matter we often use the word god so that is your true nature kim as is it it's your true nature as well my true nature for there is no your and my that's thought again which is known okay please <laughs> have a wonderful day or evening my fellow expressions of consciousness.